All right, so let's look at the first example. Now, the one thing that you would notice is I've placed all my numbers in their particular columns, okay? Once again, this is extremely important, especially when you're in grade four and five. You need to place it in the correct column so that you don't make mistakes when you are subtracting. The first thing we're going to do is expand each number. So this four is in the place of the thousand, so this will be 4,000 plus, that is 800, plus 30 plus 2 and again they're in their columns of units tens hundreds and thousands okay so what I'm actually doing is I'm saying minus 3521 this means I am subtracting a 3000 I'm subtracting a 500 I'm subtracting a 20 and I'm subtracting a 1 so what I do in my next row is, when I now expand each number, I will write subtract. You will notice here you add adding. So from that, I will subtract 3,000. And I will subtract a 500. Subtract a 20. And subtract a 1. And of course, I draw a line to indicate that my answer will now follow. Now the number one rule for subtraction is top minus bottom and I want you to repeat that after me. The number one rule for subtraction is top minus bottom. Starting from your right. Okay, so top minus bottom would be 2 minus 1. What would that be? 1. 30 minus 20, 10. 800 minus 500, 300 and 4000 minus 3000 is 1000. And if I add all of this up, I will then get my final answer which is 1000 plus 300 plus 10 plus 1 is 1311. In our following example I have subtraction with borrowing right but what do I do before I start? I will expand each number. So what is the rule for subtraction? Top minus bottom. So this question is actually then 5,351 minus 2,723. What does this mean? This means I'm actually subtracting a 2,000, I'm subtracting a 700, I'm subtracting a 20, and I'm subtracting a 3. Minus a 2,000, minus a 700, minus a 20, and minus a 3. Because the number one rule for subtraction is top minus bottom okay very important right so when i have one can i take away three i only have one sweet can i take away three no i need more so what do i do now i'm going to borrow from my tens so in my tens column you'll notice there's 50 so i will borrow one ten over here so what i do now is i take away this 50 and i will then have 40 And the one that I took away, I will put over here. Which now makes this a 11. Because remember, this was a 10 plus the 1 makes it a 11. So now I have 11 minus 3. Can I do that? Yes, I can. 11 minus 3 is, of course, 8. Then, what is the number 1 rule for subtraction? Top minus bottom. So again, I start 40 minus 20. How much is that? 20. I can't do that, okay? Because the biggest number is on top. Next, I have 300 minus 700. Can I do that? No. Do I switch them around? No. Okay. What I do now is I need to go borrow. Okay. Remember, the number one rule for subtraction is always the top minus the bottom. So since I can't do that, I can't say 300 minus 700, so I will borrow 1,000 over here. And if I borrow 1,000 from 5,000, I will then have 4,000 left. And that thousand I carry over to my hundreds. So this makes this 1,300. Can I do that now? 1,300 minus 700? Yes, of course I can. And my answer over here will then be 600. And then 4,000 minus 2,000 is a 2,000. Now, to make sure that you remember what's happening, because it could be quite confusing to remember to have subtraction over here and addition on top and addition over there, right? So what I like to do is I like to change this 
to a different color so that you remember that this has to be minus okay and then your final answer is all of this together which is 2628 and a line to indicate that's my answer your mark allocation will look like this one two three four 